Now, there's another extension here that I use all the time, and this one's called Easy Bib. And Easy Bib is a bibliography creator. But one of the great things that Easy Bib does for us is it looks at the website and then gives us an estimation of how reliable that website might be. So, in my Wikipedia website just here, I simply find the Easy Bib extension in my Chrome browser. I click it and I get some options. So, I could cite on Easy Bib, I could view the bibliography, and it says here our credibility rating this website may be credible. Okay, so it's saying that it might be credible. Now, if I went over here to National Geographic and did exactly the same thing, you'll see here that, that we set now says that our website is credible. So there's different ranking features that enable EasyBib to tell your students if they think a website is credible or not. Now, I've put in your doc just here um, a resource to see, um, to know if a site is credible. Um, that's a, uh, a site that EasyBib have created uh, where they show you what they look for to determine if a website is credible or not. So two uh, Chrome apps and extensions there uh, that are really handy. Now underneath here, I've also given you some websites to teach site credibility. So um, here for instance, here's a great website. Let me just drop it over into this Chrome account. Uh, this website is allaboutexplorers.com. Now, when your students go to allaboutexplorers.com, it looks like a great website. It um, has some nice images and graphics about it. I can find out about different explorers. So I'm going to go to Explorers A to Z, for instance. And then here, I might want to have a look at someone... Christopher Columbus, for instance, there would be a name that some students would know. So I'm going to click on Christopher Columbus here. Once again, opens up, gives me some great information about Christopher Columbus. All looks pretty legitimate. We've got sharing icons and so on. But if your students start to read here, it says Christopher Columbus was born in 1951 in Sydney, Australia, and then it goes on. So how do we know if this is a credible site or not? Now, here's something interesting. If I use my EasyBib thing just here, it tells me this website is not credible. So straight up, your students will get some information uh, about that. Now, they're looking at things about like where does it link to, uh, who's the author, um, are they reputable, and so on. But your students could immediately, without even having to read and think about is Christopher Columbus born in Sydney uh, in 1951, EasyBib would be able to give you that. So you could create a lesson for your students, send them off to one of these websites, and part of the deal is that they need to find information. And then at the end of it, hopefully, uh, they've found out that maybe this wasn't right because they've checked other websites and so on. But um, you never know. So a couple of things that would alert students, it says here Christopher Columbus was born in 1951. Down here it says in 1942 he set stale. That doesn't make sense. Um, he returned in 1939. So there's just some ways that you get your students to be able to scan the page and uh, see, what's, uh, see what's happening there.